Hey, what's going on everyone? Eric here with Proactive Intuition and in this video I'm going to teach you five practical side hustles that can make you $50,000 or more in a year. None of these side hustles is going to require a college degree or some crazy skill set that you have to have in order to do these. This is something that literally anyone can do as long as you have drive and work ethic. So before I get started in this video, guys, if you could hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, that's going to greatly help me out with reaching more people and helping more people get outside of a nine to five job that they hate. So if you could help me out by doing that and you get value from this video, I'd greatly appreciate it. With that being said, let's get into number one with iPhone repair. Yes, I said iPhone repair. You might be saying, Eric, there's no way you can make $50,000 in a year just repairing people's iPhones. Well, I beg to differ. I actually have a friend named Felvin Richards that I did a video with, and he makes over six figures a year repairing iPhones. Now, his business model is also buying damaged iPhones, fixing them up and reselling them, but he also offers it as a service, and that's really the bread and butter of his business model that he has. He actually scaled his business by placing local classified ads on websites like Craigslist and Facebook community groups just offering his repair services saying I repair iPhones if you have a cracked iPhone message me and I can give you a quote and he actually has a table in his car where he can do repairs in 15 to 30 minutes and he makes 50 to $200 per repair that he does. If you guys haven't checked out that video, I'll have it linked in the description below. I highly recommend checking out that video if this interests you at all. Now, what are the pros of iPhone repair? Well, it's a very scalable business, right? Like you could open up a repair shop doing this. You could even hire out people to do repairs for you and you just take a commission and they just leverage your business name that you built over time and you take a commission based off of what they do, the work that they do, right? Uh, it's very flexible. You know, if you just want to use it as a side hustle and you want to develop this skill set, you can work your own hours. You could say, hey, I do repairs on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 12 to 4, right? Like you could really make this business whatever you want to make it. So it's very flexible with your time. And like I said before, you can make 50 to $200 per job that you do. Now, Everything that has pros has some cons. So what's the cons in iPhone repair? Well, you're gonna have to buy some supplies, right? Like if you repair screens, you're gonna have to order some screen parts or LCDs. Like you're gonna have a little bit of a startup cost to get this going, not very much, but you do have to invest in some inventory so that you can actually do this job. The second thing is, yes, there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. And with anything that you do, there's going to be some sort of learning curve, but this is a very small learning curve. You know, you can start out just doing iPhone repairs, I'm sorry, just doing screen repairs and do very, very well just by doing that. So don't think you have to learn everything all at once. Start out small. Start out just learning how to replace a front screen on an iPhone. Like I said, if you haven't checked out that video I did with Felden, I highly recommend it. It's in the description below. So number two is going to be Facebook marketing. I love Facebook marketing. Now there is some really strong pros. There's also some really big cons with this. So what are the pros in Facebook marketing? And by the way, when I'm talking about Facebook marketing, I'm talking about marketing for businesses, right? Like you're finding more leads or more clients or more jobs for whatever local business in your area. And if you can provide value and bring that to them, you can get paid really, really well. In fact, I have several friends that make over six figures a year just doing Facebook marketing. Now, the pros of Facebook marketing is it's the most profitable. You're not going to have a lot of startup costs or anything like that because for the most part, your clients are paying for their ads and you're just placing the paid Facebook ads and getting them more clients. The second thing that's really good about this is it's the most scalable. Like the people that I see that make the most of all five of these side hustles is this one. If you're good at it and if you become successful at it, it's definitely the most profitable. The third advantage, you get to work from home. You don't have to travel anywhere. You don't have to do anything. You can literally just work from home and do this. The fourth thing is you get lots of repeat business, meaning if you get a client results, they're going to just keep using you and using you and using you and you're just going to get a paycheck month over month over month for offering this awesome service that you developed. Because if you can continually provide value, there's no reason for them to ditch you because they're paying you money, but in return, they're getting so much more money via clients or jobs or whatever it is that you're providing that service for in their business. Now, what are the cons? 
The cons is it's definitely the hardest to learn. In fact, I almost thought about not putting this on the side hustle list because it is so hard to learn. There's so many different strategies out there. What you do for one business may not work for another business. So you really got to do your research and your homework to figure out what you need to do to make this a successful and profitable business. The second thing is it takes a ton of research. So it's kind of like the first thing, but you really got to know what you're doing. So it takes a ton of research to get into this and the last thing is it's the hardest to get results it's the best i honestly think that this is the biggest opportunity out of all five but it's by far the hardest to be successful at because there's so many people doing it and there's so many people that are really good at doing it that could potentially cause a lot of competition and make it harder to, for you to get into this number three Number three is gig economy jobs. You've probably heard of a lot of these. There's Uber, Lyft, Instacart, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats. These are all great side hustles that you can do. You guys have probably heard of Uber and Lyft. That's where you give people rides, like you kind of offer a taxi service. Instacart is basically where you do grocery shopping for people. DoorDash, Postmates, and Uber Eats is where you deliver food for people. Now, I can tell you that I've done Instacart and I made about $22 an hour doing it. So it is by far one of the hardest ones to make $50,000 a year doing it because you really gotta have to hustle and put in a lot of time. So what are the pros of gig economy jobs? Well, they're by far the easiest to get started. Literally, if you have a car, you can do this job. You don't have to have like a special car or a newer car. It doesn't matter. They don't care. As long as you have a reliable car and you can deliver or drive people, I guess for Uber and Lyft, there are some requirements, but for all the others, there's none that I know of. But if you guys can get started, literally, if you just have a car and you apply a week later, you're good to go. They do a background check and you pass and you can get started on it. The second thing I really love about gig economy jobs is you can work your own hours. You don't have to commit to a schedule. You don't have clients to respond to. You just pick the hours that you want to do and you can work them on your own time. Now, with that being said, there is some cons when it comes to gig economy too. You're probably going to make the least amount of money out of the five things on this list with gig economy jobs. The second thing is you're gonna to have to work the most hours to make the least amount of money because this is very time consuming. You get paid based off of the, the jobs you pick up and how hard you work and how efficient and fast you are. But also, I mean, you're kind of capped. I was making about $22 an hour working for Instacart. And that's kind of, you know, I wasn't like great at it, but I was pretty good. And if I can make $22 an hour, I know people in certain areas where, you know, you make $30 an hour, $40 an hour. Like if you live in California or New York, you got some bigger upside with that if you're really, really good at it. But just for average, I mean, 20 bucks an hour is probably what you're looking at with a lot of these because your pay is going to fluctuate. They have different bonus structures and stuff like that. So you got to kind of figure out which one's best for you and which one you really want to do. And the last con of this is it's not scalable. It's not a business that you're growing yourself, right? So you can only put in your own time. You can't really outsource or hire people out to help you out with this. So it's not a scalable business model, but it is a really great side hustle if you need some extra cash. And believe it or not, there's several people that make over $50,000 a year doing this. A lot of them, they turn into their full-time job to be able to make that, but there are some people that do it as a side hustle that actually make that much, but they work their face off. So just if you, if you have a lot of work ethic and you wanna just put in work, you don't wanna grow your own business, this is the way to go. Right, so number four is 3D house pictures. And you might be saying, Erica, what the heck is 3D house pictures? Well guys, you ever go to like those real estate websites and you see where you can take like a 3D virtual tour? Well, that is actually a very unique service that you can learn to do. You need a special type of camera to do it, but you can actually go through, you get a tripod just like I have my camera sitting on here, and you can order these cameras that take 3D images and they're super cool. Like people can take virtual tours of just about anything now if it's like a high-end uh, real estate company that's actually showing these houses. And since like COVID has happened, you better believe that they're actually going to be doing more and more of these types of virtual tours because people don't want to drive out and go into houses and stuff during a pandemic. So when it comes to 3D house pictures, the pros is it's extremely scalable. You could hire out people, you could grow this business, you can network with local realtors, and if you can get them results, it's insanely scalable, and you can get tons and tons of money doing this. It pays great, and the last thing is it's a long-term business. You know, if you can network and get referrals and get people who refer you to go do other things, other jobs for them, or you just get a realtor, it's like, hey, I want you to do this for every house that I get, it's super scalable, and it pays really, really well. I've done some research on 
on this. There's people that do this as a side hustle, only working 10 or 20 hours a week, and they make up to $4,000 to $8,000 in a single month doing this as a side hustle. But it takes a lot of building up to get to that point. The cons of this is there is a startup cost. If you really want to be good at this, you're probably going to have to get one of the high-end cameras. You can start off getting one of the like less expensive ones for probably two, three, four hundred bucks. But there's cameras in this that are thousand, two thousand dollars. So there is a startup cost with this for sure. And the second thing is it could take a long time to scale this up because you really have to develop relationships with people. You have to be able to talk to realtors. You got to network with people. You got to sometimes do jobs for free up front to make sure that you are putting your name out there. Say, hey, I'll do one job for free. If you like the results, maybe you consider hiring me for additional jobs. But this is a great side hustle that literally anyone can do that a lot of people are not doing right now. There is a need for this. If you guys want more information on this, check out Meet Kevin's video. Just search on YouTube, Meet Kevin and 3D House Pictures and it'll show up. All right guys, last but not least, number five is reselling. And this is my forte, this is my side hustle that I make over $50,000 a year doing. And some of the pros of reselling, which if you don't know what reselling is, it's just buying something at a discount and reselling it for a profit. I do this with a lot of different items. I do it with electronics, I do it with collectible items, I do it with smartphones. You know, there's all types of different items you can buy and resell for large, large profits. There's definitely a strategy to it and there's bad ways about going about reselling and there's good uh, effective ways about going about reselling. One of the most difficult things is that there's so much information out there that it can be a little overwhelming. So I highly recommend if you're interested in this, watch my channel because I figured out a great system on how to make reselling extremely profitable. Now, what are the pros of reselling? Well, number one, it's scalable. Like I know people that have several employees that outsource all the tasks in their job and their only task is finding the items that they're going to resell. And then they have people that list the items for them as well as ship the items for it. So it's super scalable. You can turn it into a real business has extremely flexible hours. You can work whatever hours you want with this. You do have some obligations, like if an item sells, you do have to go to the post office and mail it out. But other than that, you don't have to answer it anyone. You're pretty much your own boss in every sense of, you know, the, the word boss. So <laughs> uh, it's extremely flexible hours. Number three is there's a low startup cost. You guys can get started just by looking for stuff laying around your house, selling it, taking the profit you made from that. So you have an old iPhone laying around. You sell your old iPhone, you get a hundred bucks for it, and then you go out and you buy another iPhone for a hundred dollars, you resell it for two hundred dollars, and you just keep kind of compounding and letting that business grow, and it's a very, very low startup cost. The last thing is it's pretty easy to do. Once you understand the fundamentals of reselling, it's literally just buying an item at a discount and selling it for more profit. Now, what are the cons? It can be hard to find good info. It took me years to find the right people to teach me how to buy and resell effectively. A lot of people will teach you strategies that don't work. I'm not gonna go into all the different strategies that don't work, but believe me, there's a ton of them. And you're gonna get stuck making 10 bucks an hour on average if you follow a lot of those strategies. So make sure you're listening to people that one, have results, and two, actually have experience doing the thing that they're teaching. The second thing is there is a little bit of a learning curve. You're gonna have to learn what items are best, what items aren't. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you want the right information. And the last thing is if you wanna scale fast, it does require some money, but you can get started with literally selling stuff you have laying around your house. But if you really wanna scale fast, I recommend that you probably have at least $500 to $1,000, and you eventually want to scale it up to where you have over $5,000 in the bank so you can constantly be buying inventory and flipping it. All right, guys, so I want to know, out of the five, what was your favorite side hustle that I mentioned here? Or if I didn't mention one, what's a worthy side hustle that should be on this list? Just to recap real quick, guys, the five things was iPhone repair, Facebook marketing, gig economy jobs, 3D house pictures, and my favorite, reselling. Don't forget guys to subscribe to this channel and like this video as it greatly helps me out, it helps me reach more people and affect more people's lives in a positive way, which is what this channel is all about. With that being said guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see everyone next time. Take care.